Alright, so next one we're looking at is uh, mm, Macro 33. Macro 33 is the one that you're going to be using every Thursday after 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. and you will get your settlement on the Qualcomm. You know, you get your pay information on the Qualcomm, if I should say. It says request for PR payroll settlement information. So you you send this macro and you get your paycheck information, how much you're gonna get deposit, how much you're gonna get on the card or whatever. And this pen should be given to you by dispatch. Next macro is macro thirty-five. Macro 35 is reefer credit due truck. This is something that you want to be doing anytime you pick up the trailer. It's supposed to be full. If it's not full, get to the nearest truck stop and make sure that you get the reefer credit for that trailer. All right. And so whenever you drop the trailer, you want to make sure that it gets dropped full as well. If you drop the trailer full, and the next driver picks it up half at a half a tank. Prime is gonna pay for that fuel. Now, if you drop the trailer half and the driver next, the next driver picks it up at a half, you are going to get charged for the half a tank. All right, so it's important to keep track of your records of the credit due on the truck, on the trailer on the reefer I mean so this is the one that you want to be using anytime that that you need it or you think you may need it it's gonna send you a message and it will look like this let me see that's what it's gonna look like all right and you want to make sure that you reply yes to that all right so will you just reply yes and then you get the macro. In this case, I don't need it, so I'm not gonna send it. So that's macro 35, reefer credit. And then macro 38, accident report. This is one I'm very, very little familiar with. Um, I don't think I've ever done one. Um, and if I have, it's for something very minor. You know, not anything my fault so you always want to fill this out as soon as it happens fill this out send it take pictures and make sure that you get with this batch as well all right so this macro accident macro 38 accident report you want to fill it out as soon as you have an accident whether it's your fault or not next one is macro 41 Macro 41 is pickup trailer inspection report. This is something that you want to do every time you pick up a trailer. Whether you're moving at five feet, 10 miles, 100 miles, whatever it may be, you know, maybe not five feet, but if you are gonna have, it's gonna be under your truck, you wanna have a pickup trailer inspection report cover your butt, all right? You will just fill it out, simple. Fill out any damages on the trailer and you should be good. All right. Next one is Macro 42. Macro 42 is anytime you're going into California, you want to make sure your weights are good. You want to let dispatch know your weights are good. All right, so Macro 42 is steer axle weights. It's going to give you an option where you put in the steer axle weight, drive axle weight, and trailer axle weight, and then counting from the front what pinhole you're in. That way you're assuring yourself and dispatch you are legally able to drive into California. 
all right and, and let's say california because that's the only one that we really had to watch going into next one we're looking at is uh macro 45 daily post strip inspection you know this is something that we uh haven't done in a minute we're not we used to do it we don't anymore um so this is for the pre-trip post trip or intra which is in between then you do this just fill this out and you're good all right next one is i have 54 apu hours every time every so often every couple weeks road assist is going to send you a message what is the hours on your apu apu hours just go to macro 54 type in the number and send it and you're good to go simple it's just telling them what the apu hours are and it keeps track of it so whenever you need a pm on it they'll remind you next one is 55 drop trailer inspection drop trailer inspection you want to do every time you drop a trailer again whether you move it 10 feet 10 miles 100 miles whatever it may be you want to do that drop trailer inspection so that you are letting them know that the way you dropped it is in good condition so you know you don't want billy joe coming behind you and saying there's a a gouge in the fuel tank and you know but if you if you do a drop trailer inspection and then post it on there they're going to get with the the receiver or the shipper wherever the trailer may be you know what i mean so you always want to cover your butt so um all right drop trailer inspection next message is macro 57 i have reviewed this load and and i commit to picking it up this is something that you want to make sure that you do anytime you are committing to picking it up you don't want to send this and then be like oh i don't want to take the load if you're not going to take the load don't do this do not commit to it all right so that's micro 57 committing to a load um macro 58 i'm not aware of it because i don't have a gps navigation on the jeep on the qualcomm so i you know it's what it says turn navigation on for the truck and make sure you put in your your information driver code and pin and as you can see there's a small fee for that and you go from there and then macro 59 drop parking location at the terminal so whatever terminal it is that you're at mainly springfield you want to put in the spot that you drop it in at all right the space the trailer being dropped at what space you're dropping it at and then springfield denver salt lake city or pittston all right so let's just let them know where the trailer's at just in case they need to work on it and the last but not least macro 63 anytime you get a message from dispatch let's say we got this one good morning whatever and then you reply you can easily reply to it instead of typing out what you want to send you can just say change macro type in 63 and then click on that and it'll just it's kind of acknowledgement of the message all right it's very important to do i do it a lot because i myself like to be acknowledged anytime i send a message so i treat others like i want to be treated all right so i do this a lot so that's it guys you know those are the macros the different macros on the truck free form is you type it in yourself and so on all right and then outbox is whatever messages you've sent inbox is whatever messages you got coming in all right so again guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below i thank you for watching i hope this helps Bitch, I